Let's go back to the sex. Okay. <laughs> I think people are curious though when you film a sex scene, what, what are the challenges there? <laughs> there. <laughs> and so the heart of the show, of course, is Claire's character, mm -hmm. which you probably set out to cast first, but I hear it came right down to the wire. Well, at the outset of the project, I said, because I'm an idiot, I said, you know, the <laughs> we're gonna cast Claire first, and Jamie's going to be the one that we'll cast at the last minute because, you know, in the books, Jamie's the king of men, and he's all these things that the fans built up in their heads, and who's, who the hell's going to be that, you know? So I think that's going to take forever, and of course, it was exactly the opposite. Sam was the very first one that we cast, and it king was just a, a very simple process. Uh, the tape came in, and the word went around the office like lightning, like, we found him. And I was like, what, what, we're just beginning. He said, no, 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 you should get to see this tape. Watch the tape, and sure enough, it was like, oh my God, there he is, that's him. So let's grab him now, you know, don't be stupid. And then uh, it was the great Scarlett O'Hara search to find Claire, you know, it's a very difficult, it was a very difficult role. Um, it's every scene, every day. Uh, it's a tremendous amount of work. Uh, it's an, we had to, I said that to me, the fundamental quality of the character was her intelligence. You had to have an actress that really projected you know, th th this, this really smart quality because she lands in this time and she's able to adapt very quickly. And I said everything flows from her intelligence, her, her strength of character, her adaptability, her, her sexuality, you know, her warmth, all of it is because of this mind and this sort of intelligence. So you had to have somebody that you could watch think on camera and someone who was going to be talking to you in voiceover. So it turned out that was a much more difficult proposition than I think I anticipated at the outset. And we saw a lot of really good, really talented actresses and we just kept saying, no, no, it's not there, it's not there, it's not there. And we were getting really close. We're starting to get, starting to sweat it a little bit because we we're approaching the shooting uh, point. And then Katrina's uh, tape came in, and it was a very similar thing to uh, the discovery of Sam. It was just this word went around like lightning. We found her, and I was like, really? And looked at the tape and went, oh my God, there she is. And then we said, let's put her and Sam together and see what the chemistry was. The chemistry was great, and that was it. <laughs> we were just sold. Ron, there's a lot of sex in these books. I don't know if you really? know that. Define a lot, you know, what's a lot? <laughs> As you say, um, you know, Game of Thrones has a lot of sex and nudity, and they've kind of taken some ribbing for that. SNL did a hilarious parody. I don't know if anybody remembers that. Um, when you approach the source material, and part of what people love is Diana's sort of frank, awesome portrayal of what happens between two people how do you approach that? Where's the line? Too much sex, not enough sex? Well, I mean, it's just all there. You know, it's all in the book, and it's all kind of organic to what the story is. Um, I mean, you can see in the pilot episode, or not the pilot, the, the first episode, uh, we, you know, Frank and Claire have sex, and we spend a little bit of time in it, but it's not definitive. It's not the first time they've had sex. It's not the most important time they've had sex, but it was important to sort of say, this is their bridge back to one another. So we sort of treated it accordingly. You saw enough of it to understand what it was about and then moved on. Uh, that's different than, say, Claire and Jamie's wedding night, which is, you know, a, a pivotal moment. You don't even know how we've done it yet, so, you know. <laughs> We might have screwed it up, for all you know, but... They don't have sex. They don't have sex. <laughs> so there's surprises you don't even know about. It's pretty quick. Pretty quick. <laughs> so, we, you know, it's, it's, it's what's appropriate to the story. You know, how, how much emphasis do you give? You know, how long do you spend on it? What do you show? It really depends on how it's informing, you know, the journey of the characters, and we, we just... It's in the book, and we just said, all right, well, this is organic to the tale that we're telling, and let's just treat it accordingly. And I, I don't think we were ever tempted one way or the other. We never said, let's do more, and we were never tempted to sort of shy away from it. We just sort of said, well, what is true, and let's, let's go with that as the, as the hallmark. 
But Ron, what was, what was the hardest scene to film? You talked about how it's hard filming horses. There's a lot of things in here that are complicated. What was, what was the biggest challenge? Uh, it's, uh, yeah, the horses are always a challenge. You know, we, have, uh, we taught the, the cast to ride. They all have different levels of skill when it comes to being on a horse. <laughs> and the horses just take time. You know, it's, it's the horses ride out of camera and then cut and then reset and bringing the horses back around takes a while. <laughs> Getting them into the right place takes a while. It's set and do it again. I'd never, this is actually the first show I'd ever done that actually involved horses. I don't think I'm doing a lot of them after this. <laughs> it's a, it, it takes quite a while. Anything with animals and children is the old Hollywood, Hollywood saying. But I, I'd say the biggest challenge in terms of production is just the elements. You know, the, it's a, we shoot on location in Scotland at all hours of the day and night and, and all weather conditions, and it's hard. It's, it's really hard on the cast and the crew to stand out you know, in the dead of night and the rain and mud that's over your ankles and do it again and do it again. Katrina's in there in a shift and, you know, and the Highlanders are, are ain't, they're in wool, but it's still pretty brutal and it's tough on the cameramen and the sound crew and it's not an easy show to, to shoot by any means. And weather as a challenge? The weather's an enormous challenge. Uh, we only actually had to run, uh, there's something called weather cover on a, on a show where if the weather is so bad, you have sort of an emergency backup to, to run to weather cover and shoot some interior scenes. And fortunately, you've only had to do that a couple of times in the whole life of the show, which is a miracle considering you know, where we're shooting and the time of year, you know, through the dead of winter and all that. Let's go back to the sex. OK. <laughs> now, I think people are curious that when you film a sex scene, what, what are the challenges there? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, I work at Cosmopolitan, that's all we talk about. There are many. Uh, <laughs> and I had the pleasure of having, <laughs> having sex with both of So there are different challenges with Tobias and Sam. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> we save it in post. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> No, I mean, it's, you know, they have, they have these things that they give us called modesty. <laughs> Where's your mind going? Um, I mean, finish my sentence. No, uh, these things called modesty patches uh, that really don't protect your modesty, dignity, or, or anything else. It's just uh, really not very cool. Um, but, you know, I, I have to say it's... You know, it is a very integral part of the story with, with both of, um, with Frank and Claire and with Claire and Jamie especially. And, um, you, know, <laughs> I, you know, I feel very lucky. I, I have two... Uh, <laughs> very nice, respectful actors to work with. <laughs> um, I once... Um, I want <laughs> went to the bathroom <laughs> and uh, I, 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 you have, I, I dropped my modesty pouch in, <laughs> into the urinal <laughs> what, whilst tie it back on and I had to then tell someone so they had to put it over the radio. <laughs> yes. So the whole Sam crew dropped knew. His modesty pouch in the urinal. We need we another need modesty pouch. It happens. What do you have to say on this subject, Tobias? Have you dropped your... Um, Modesty patch thoughts. Weirdly, in the 1940s, they didn't have any modesty well, you, patches. Well, you, you, went, you, went you went for more of the skin short than the modesty patch. I did that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I sort of... I can't, yeah, I, I can't remember. <laughs> I think so, I've seen so sort of, like, blotted out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's very enjoyable. Good, I liked it, but it? Some, I don't remember any details. <laughs> right. I'm glad. It's strange. It's a weird amnesia has dropped upon the whole event. Um, I, I, the main thing that struck me about doing those sex scenes is that you're doing sex scenes in a pretty busy room. Oh. There's like a lot of people. There's like, you know, there's sound guys and there's some camera people and there's a person with a clapperboard. So it's a very kind of um, a weirdly public activity. <laughs> Well, um, we counted on we, our, our wedding night. What was it? Well, on 
it's supposed to be a closed set. That means they have the minimal crew and, and people working there. And we counted 14 people. I think it was 16. 16, 14. 15, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not very intimate, yeah. let me tell you. You know, and that, for some people, that's, that's the thing. But some people... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, whatever turns you on. Um, Next question. Yes. 